The Lord be with you today. Today I want to introduce you to a new thing that we're going to be doing in our devotional time together here. Instead of just doing a bunch of random topics, I want to try and walk through a book of the Bible with you. So for the next seven weeks or so, we are going to slowly make our way through the book of Philippians. I want to read a little scripture with you, offer you a few thoughts, and then ask you a few questions that you can either think about by yourself, but I really encourage you to talk to someone about them with them. So let's begin. Philippians chapter 1. I invite you to open up there if you want, otherwise I will read a few verses for us. So Paul begins with his typical introduction, introducing who he is, who he's writing to, and then he says these words starting in verse 3. Paul writes, I thank my God every time I remember you. I always pray with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your participation in the gospel from the first day until now. For I am sure of this very thing, that the one who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. For it is right for me to think this about all of you because I have you in my heart. Since both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, all of you became partners in God's grace together with me. For God is my witness that I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And I pray this, that your love may abound even more and more in knowledge and in every insight, so that you can decide what is best and thus be sincere and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Christ Jesus to the glory and praise of God. Do you hear his tone there? Can you just hear, can you even just feel his love, his joy, his satisfaction even, that writing to these people that they are not just some random people far off that he's writing to, but that these are his brothers and sisters that he loves, that he cares for, that he's happy to be partners in the ministry with. I want to draw your attention to verse 9, though. Paul writes, after expressing his joy, he says to them that I pray this, and this is his prayer request, that their love may abound even more and more in knowledge and in every kind of insight or understanding discernment. It's kind of a weird prayer request when you think about it, isn't it? To pray that someone's love would grow in knowledge and in understanding and insight. But when you think about it, I don't think it's really that strange quite at all. Maybe it's about praying that our love would grow so that we know what our neighbor needs so that then we can do something. Maybe it's praying that our love would grow so that then we know who or how we can best use our gifts and abilities. Maybe it's about praying that our love would grow so that then we would be able to know how, where, what God is doing around us. And so this day, my two questions for you are, first, who is that person in your life? that partner in ministry that you are so grateful, that you are so thankful to have with you? And why? Why are you thankful to have that person in your life in that way? And then second, what is the one area, what would it be like for you to grow in your love, in knowledge, in understanding, and in insight as well? I'll leave you with those two questions. Let me pray for you this day. Lord Jesus, as we come to you, we thank you for your great love that you have made us your instruments, your tools in ministry to be your hands and your feet in this world around us. This day, as we hear from your Apostle Paul, as he prays for those people to grow in love in knowledge and discernment, help us see how the ways that we too can grow in love, how we can grow in knowledge and understanding and insight so that we can best be ready, so that we can best love those around us. Guide us through your spirit. Enable us to live as you have called us to live. We pray this all, Jesus, in your name. Amen. The Lord be with you this day.